Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the raw life health. Hello, everybody. Welcome, and uh, I wanted to just get on here and say more and more people are making videos on YouTube and people are commenting on my videos about the vegan diet and how it doesn't work and you can't be healthy on a vegan diet and all these things. Meanwhile, I continue to thrive at eating a raw vegan diet. Yes, no processed food, just fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds, and I feel amazing, and it's sad for me when I see people just continuing to decline in their health or try new things for their health and it's just not working for them. And then I see people that are doing or have tried or attempted to do the raw vegan diet and they say it didn't work for them and I say, really, well, how long did you give it? How long did you stay on a raw vegan diet? And they say, oh, a couple of weeks and it just, I didn't feel well. Or even if they say a couple of months. You, your whole life you've been eating a certain way that got you messed up and you think in a couple of weeks everything's going to completely change. As I say also, there's a right way and a wrong way to do this. If you're just sitting eating dates all day, yeah, you can call yourself a, a raw foodist, but that doesn't mean it's a healthy thing to do. I remember when I was younger, uh, it was Paul McCartney's what, his wife was Linda McCartney, and I think she, she died and she was on a vegan diet, and people was like, oh, you see the vegan diet doesn't work. I'm like, I don't know what she was eating, but I know the raw vegan diet works, and I stuck with it over the years. And I stick with it now. You know, I've made adjustment over the years, uh, depending on what was going on and, and what I needed to make. But I just got my blood work done. My blood work was fine. And people are always going to try to find something that, uh, to make themselves feel good or something. I mean, I am doing the best I've ever been doing my whole life, health-wise. My blood work was fine. I'm feeling great. And... People are commenting, oh, your diet's not working because uh, your hair is thinning on the top of your head or you look tired or something else. <laughs> and they're just always looking for the negative. And I find people like that in life that are always looking for the negative. I mean, I'm all into research and questioning things, but you just know those people that they're just looking for a reason not to do something, not to take responsibility and change or not to try something. I see this a lot with people that eat a carnivore diet or people that eat all these dead carcasses and everything else. They want to knock the vegan diet. They want to talk bad about the vegan diet, but yet they've never really given it a true shot to see how great it works. And I'm telling you, and I tell everyone, look, when it comes to health, when it comes to diet, do what works best for you. If what you're doing is working for you, there's no reason to change. But then at the same time, you come back and you say, well, this diet doesn't work for me because, and you give me all of these different reasons. Or you tell me why this diet won't work for you. Look, I am not telling you, if you feel great, and if you're happy with what you're doing, do what's working for you. But, uh, you know, I, I'm a grown man. I know what's working for me. And I, I know what I can do and what I can accomplish. And... Years ago, there's just some crazy lady out there who makes videos about vegans and how bad they look, and she talks about vegans in a negative way, and she has a couple of vegans on her show that, uh, you know, they, they might, on a bad day, she might uh, see a video of them or something, and she'll just go on there and scrutinize them and all this other stuff. And she actually had me on there once saying that I'm so weak, I probably couldn't even ride a bike down the block, and, and I'm so weak, and the vegan diet's not working, and all this stuff, and I just had a laugh because... <laughs> You know, it's just absolutely ignorant. That's what I would say, ignorant. Uh, some people are when it comes to doing this. And I know there are people that are tempted eating a raw vegan diet and for some reason they didn't have the results that I had and they continue on the, their journey to try to find out what will work for them. And that's cool. That's all right. That's all right. But when I tell people, do what's working for you, no reason to change if what you're doing is working for you. I know what's working for me. And if I don't know what's working for me, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going to seek it out. But don't tell me what's not working for me and so on. You know, I mean, it, it, the first part of not something not working is you got to admit, hey, this isn't working. I'm the first person that if something's wrong or something's not going right, I'm going to research it. I'm going to find out what's happening and why and so on. I'm not going to ignore something that's not working. 
But, you know, there's that saying, if you keep trying to do the same thing and expect a different result, that's the definition of insanity. And that's what many people do. They're eating, they're overeating, they're eating too much of something, they're eating at the wrong times, and they continuously uh, try to change their results, but they're not changing what they're doing to change their results. And the adjustments I've made over the years have worked. You know, the mentors that I'm following have the success. <laughs> and I'm going strong. I'm going strong on a raw vegan diet and living life to its fullest. And yes, I got a ton of fruit trees behind me. I'm eating the fruits right off the trees. And you know what? I'm not overeating on the fruit. I'm eating just enough uh, to satisfy my pleasure and I guess my nutritional needs. But, you know, I see people doing these things, making these mistakes and I know what it is to live like with a disease because I suffered from a disease when I was younger. And I want to help people that want to learn. I want to help people that want to just do better and not settle for just getting by. And I know from a diet standpoint, uh, because of social reasons and everything else, the raw vegan diet might not be the easiest way for everyone to go. But from a health standpoint, health doesn't begin with what you add to your diet. It begins with what you leave out or you eliminate. Take out the bad things and the good things are going to thrive. That's the best way to do it. And a, a raw vegan diet done the right way is going to leave only the good things, the fruits and vegetables pretty much. With a couple of nuts and seeds. You're leaving out everything else. You know, so you want to monitor your blood work, make sure you get meeting your needs and so on. And, and be smart about this. I have thousands of videos on the internet to help you along the way. People contact me sometimes say, oh, where do I start? How do I start? Look, just eat more fruits and vegetables and stop eating the processed junk. All right? And I have recipes online. I have, you name it, it's there. All right? Stop eating late. Stop overeating. Eat fruits and vegetables and enjoy your life. All right. Put your comments or questions below if you have some for me. Until then, i got some great interviews coming up. I have some uh, more cool videos coming up. And thanks for watching. Have a great day and a great world life. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life.